Okay, we're still working through the XR5000, um, the initial setups. If you look down, we'll hit settings once again, and now we're going to talk about treatments. So if we hit treatments, maybe you have some preloaded treatments in there. It will not come from the factory with any recommendations. That's between you and your veterinarian to figure that out. If we want to add a new treatment, maybe we want to put something like what should we try? We'll type in Ivomec. Hit next. And this is one part that confuses a few people in North America. If you look down on the list that comes from New Zealand, Ivomectin and or Resflor or pre treatments like uh, for foot rots, things like that, are typically not a vitamin, a supplement, a vaccine, or a drench. They are a treatment. So we're going to have to leave that blank. Just hit next. Now, if you read on the label in ivermectin, it's one mil per 22 pounds, I think, so it's 0 0.045 mills per pound. Refer to your label for this please. Hit next. Withdrawal time I think is 49 days. You just type that in. Now what we're going to do is calculate down here based on the animal's live weight. If you wanted to repeat the same amount for each animal, that's when you're maybe going to vaccinate. Or each calf is going to get a 2 mil dose. Or maybe it's 5 cc's per head, depending on the vaccine. Um, so we're not going to repeat the same amount. We are going to calculate based on live weight. Hit next. Gives you a bit of an overview. Again, we'll press finish. It appears now on our list. It is checked off. So when you hit the weighing screen button, there is the Ivomec portion. Depending on the weight of the critter, it figures out how many mils to administer. Now the nice thing about this, if you're involved in a quality control program where you actually have to type in the lot number from the package, you can type that in right there. We press record. When the next animal comes on the platform, it's a little smaller, that same lot number shows up here. So we can start using that as a reference for our verified beef programs our pasture to plate programs when we have to prove where did we use one product and where did we use another product we can follow that by lot number so if you go back into options and settings treatments again there's our Ivomec treatment um, if you hit modify, it will go back into the product that was currently highlighted. If you want to go back into Ivermec, go down one, hit modify, and you can change something in here. Maybe I was one day out on my withhold period. That's fine. We can just change that. If you want to get rid of something, Um, you just hit delete. It asks you, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I do. Clean up our list. So make use of the treatment function. It is best set up when you are going to be treating animals on arrival or if everything's going to get uh, a pour on, like at a branding and or preg checking time. If you're just pulling one animal out of a pen to do individual treatments, I suggest making a list of treatments and putting them 
in the information to display area building a drop down list of why you treated and what you used like here is a product list if I hit modify here is a list of different products that you may treat with at a single time this will not do the dosage calculation but it is a good um, reference as to what you used that day on that critter so treatment is when you're treating everything it's based on weight figures it out every products different enjoy it you save a lot of money using a true test scale because you are not overdosing and or underdosing these expensive products have a great day